Hey, how y'all doing? Nick the Smoker here coming on the recipe today. This one is going to be another review from my good friend uh, Matteo. This one is going to be Peter Stuvant. I believe it's pronounced. Eh, I believe it's pronounced uh, Peter Stuvant. Uh, I'm not sure. Obviously, correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, so yeah. Peter Stuvant cigarettes. I've heard of them a lot. Um, I've gotten a lot of requests, and Mateo so thankfully sent me a pack. So thank you so much. I also have a letter which I'm gonna read real quick. Hi Nick, I'm sending you a second letter after my first package arrived successfully. I love your reviews, the packs I sent you, and I can't thank you enough for the shout out. I got multiple new subs because of it. I'm glad so, my friend. You deserve it. I'll be keeping this letter relatively short compared to my last one. I hope all is well, and that this is not the case. Certainly once you open up the package I sent you. Uh, inside the two different packs of cigarettes, um, explaining briefly. Uh, Caballero, that will be another review. I will skip that part and I'll go to the Peter Stuvant. Named after the man who governed New Amsterdam, which is now New York, the state of New York, um, back during the Dutch colony. Um, this South African filter brand is expensive yet fairly popular thanks for its distinctive tobacco. It's sold in supermarkets, gas stations, tobacco shops. Um, Brands like Marlboro and Camel are now more popular. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. Um, Taylor, thank you so much, my friend. Um, I really do appreciate it. And thank you so much for sending the review. Um, so, yeah, take a look at this pack. Uh, pretty kind of a classy-looking cigarette pack here. You have Peter Stuvan written there in a kind of nice stylized font. You do have a coat of arms logo on the top right-hand corner of the pack. And then a red bar underneath, which is uh, just that Peter Stuvan kind of design for the cigarette packs. Um, these are from... Uh, cigarette then Netherlands. This is from the Netherlands. Um, there is a tax stamp going along the pack right there. Warning label is written in Dutch, as you can see. And yeah, um, pretty pretty cool. This is a weird pack because it is 23 cigarettes. It is a very very large pack of cigarettes. Um, because there's 23 instead of the uh, standard 20. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up right now. If I can find the thing on the side. Yeah, in the United States, we had, um, at one point in time, back in the day, there was a uh, Marlboro made Marlboro Lights and Reds in 25 packs. I'm not sure if they do that still. Um, but we only sell packs of 20, and that's the minimum that we have to sell in the United States. So, All right, just the regular standard white foil inside the pack there. Okay. All right, let's take a look at it. Pretty cool-looking smoke, so... A little bit more fancier, if you will. Standard cork style filter with a silver band in the bottom of the filter. And then you have Peter Stuvan written in a blue font and a blue text below that. Uh, perforations on the filter. I have one line of perforations in the middle. The filter is fairly dense. And it's a medium density. And then you have a very nice bright colored tobacco inside of that cigarette. Uh, smell the cigarette. Now a very nice, rich tobacco aroma coming off that cigarette. But more of a kind of an old school, um, man, that reminds me of a cigarette that I've smoked in the past. Yeah, but nothing too incredible on the flavor profile and the aroma of that, but. Taking a dry pop off the filter. Very nice flavor coming through there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and give the oh we gotta flip that around let's give the peter stuvan a light and let's see how they are now there's no more tar and nicotine on these packs uh, because of the new european warning labels and stuff Cigarettes are still uh, limited to tar, 10 milligrams of tar. I believe Peter Stuvant makes several different kinds, varieties. This is the full flavor one. I think they make a blue, silver, and a gold, maybe. All right. Uh, let's do the body on here real quick. Very nice. Very nice, thick, dense body of smoke coming off of the cigarette right off the bat um a nice full flavor cigarette i'm um, liking that so far and uh first impressions of it interesting full flavor cigarette though strong 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 
Um, so this is kind of like, it's got a very nice kick to it, like I've said three times already. Um, flavor, kind of on the planter side. Not in a bad way, though. And I'll elaborate on that. It does have a little bit more of a drier taste to it. Um, it's got more of a kind of a classic cigarette flavor. It doesn't really have, uh, there's really no sweetness or anything. Like this is nowhere near what a camel or anything would be. Um, it does have that kind of a strength that a Marlboro kind of a has, but does not have any flavor of a Marlboro to it whatsoever. They are burning quick, by the way. I'm already under halfway on it. It's kind of a shame. But a very nice, rich tasting tobacco off that cigarette. Like I said, it is a little bit more of a drier smoke. It kind of reminds me almost something of like a Rothman. Um, it's got a very kind of a more classic tobacco flavor off it and more classic cigarette flavor. Um, something that you don't see in a lot of the conventional, more popular brands nowadays. Um, I know that this brand apparently has been around, I think, since the 50s. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but they're all over Europe and they're all over. I think they're in Australia and they got them in different countries as well, South Africa. But yeah, it's very nice nonetheless. Um, I have to jump in the ratings on this already because I got like two drags left. It's burning really quick. Let's do the body on here again. Very good body, very nice thick dense smoke. It is a very nice full flavor cigarette and there's plenty of cigarette smoke coming through that filter um, even with it having that one line of perforations. Um, flavor, taste, aroma. Kind of this classic, it's just a classic flavor. I can't really put my, my finger on it. Just a nice full flavor cigarette with a nice classic taste. Um, no BS really, it's just kind of, it, it's, on, it's on a plainer side of tasting on the flavor, but if you are a cigarette smoker and you have tried Peter Stufant before, maybe I'll be, maybe you'll be understanding what I'm saying about that. Um, there's not really any kind of a, you know, there's not really any subtleties off of it. Um, it just has a very distinct flavor of its own off of here. I actually like them a lot though. Um, that's not a bad smoke. I wonder how the light ones would be if they do still make those. But a very, very nice cigarette. Um, and this is a 23 pack. I'd buy the 23 pack just to have more cigarettes in the pack. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, the one major thing is that the thing burned like quickly. Um, I was already finishing that cigarette pretty much at the seven minute mark of this video. So this thing just burned very, very quickly. Um, but yeah, these are a very, very solid smoke. Uh, I'm just looking at the pack a little bit more. See if I missed anything on here. It also says Pierre Stuvant in this hop right there, if you didn't notice. But yeah, um, made in the European Union under the authority of American Cigarette Company Overseas Limited, but it's a British American tobacco group, so I don't know what that means. Um, British, I never even heard of that company before. But yeah, this is, um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump. What am I doing? Why do I keep ranting about this? Uh, this is a very good cigarette. I'm gonna enjoy smoking the rest of this pack, and uh, hopefully, maybe in the future, I get to try some other Peter Stuvans. Cause um, this is a long time cigarette that I've been looking to try, and finally get the chance. Thank you so much, Mateo. I do appreciate it. Um, but yeah, very, very nice. Peter Stuvan. What am I gonna rate this cigarette? I am giving this one a nine out of ten. I like it a lot. Um, I probably would have rated it like nine and a half, but because of how fast it burned, which is kind of kind of crappy um just burned up very very fast maybe it's a good thing there's extra three cigarettes in the pack to make up for it um but yeah very very nice cigarette nine out of ten on the peter stuvan and mateo thank you so much my friend um i do have your next review of caballero coming up in the near future but there you have it guys that is my review of peter stuvan cigarettes and i thank you all so much again for tuning in to watch today and god bless